Are you ready to understand beards better? It's time for Beard Befuddlement Beatdown! We're beating down the befuddlement so you have more knowledge is what I'm trying to... Start the intro! So something happened to me the other day. Well, lots of things probably happened to me. Hair loss, burping, aging, paper cut, burping, skeeter bites, leprosy, yawns, <sighs> major yawn. You know, a bunch of stuff. I said burping twice. Well, I'm a gassy dude. This is what I do for a living. But another thing that happened to me, I was walking down the street and I saw this guy. Well, you know what? Let's have reenactment clone be that guy. So I saw this guy and I was like, what is that? Oh my God, 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 oh my God. Except in real life, there was no beard there, but he's reenactment clone, so he has a beard. Let's just imagine no beard. Oh, as hard as that is. I was like, what is that? And he was like, my face, because there was no hair, it was face. You get what I'm saying? And I was like, holy crap, people still have not beards? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And he was like, what are you talking about? I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm confused, bro. What's going on, huh? What? And then I realized something needed to be done. There's a lot of misunderstanding about beards out there, so I want to clear this up so that more not not beards happen. Let's get started. Or should I say, let's begin the main event. Or the, the, well, let's whisk you away to the event. The whisker you away. Let's go. Let's do it. Question one. What is a beard? According to Google, it is a growth of hair on the chin and lower cheeks of a man's face. See, that's the problem right there. Man's face, please. Hair on the face of any man, woman, child, pet, tree, matter, or antimatter can be considered a beard. Come on, guys. Duh, guys. Come on, guys. Duh, guys. Come on, guys. Try to be a little more open-minded. It's the 90s. You're done now. Your acting is done for the day. Why is a beard? Hmm? Well, beard growth is linked to the stimulation of hair follicles in the area by dihydrotestosterone. That's a big word, but if you break it down into its parts, it means two water, watery man juices. Evolutionarily speaking, some biologists have concluded that there is evidence that females find men with beards more attractive. Now, some of you might not agree with that. That's fine. We're all entitled to our incorrect opinions, but there are other evolutionary theories as well, such as how beards indicate sexual maturity, meaning it's a way for a cave man to say to a cave woman, Ooga booga. Ooga booga with yuga booga. And judging by the beard, the woman can tell that he's ready, so she's all, Ooga la la. Ga. Cave women always had blonde hair and beards. Fact. How is the beard? Well, awesome. I'll prove it. Harrison Ford with a beard, Harrison Ford without a beard. Question answered. When is a beard? Beard growth typically begins at puberty, but some people can't grow them. And some people don't get them until their late teens, and some people don't even get them until their late 20s. And some talk show hosts don't get them until writer strikes. And some people always had them. That's me, at four or something. Don't believe me? I can verify. Hey, mom and dad, that's totally me, right? Right. right. See? Who is a beard if we live fully and truly? And scraggly, we all are. Also, whoever Tom Cruise is dating. Where is a beard? Brew pubs, baseball fields, the entire Pacific Northwest, everywhere, at indie folk band practice, in our hearts, right here, and right here. I got a hot tip for anyone who wants to grow a beard. Don't shave for a while. If you are unable to grow a beard for some reason, bring it in. Give me a hug, beard hug. Feel free to eat any food you find in there. Hey, could you guys wink for me? Good job.